Welcome back, fight fans. In today's video, we've got a packed lineup of headlines. First off, Bobby Green responds to Tony Ferguson's eye poke accusation at UFC 291. Next, Dustin Poirier weighs in on Conor McGregor's ongoing issues with USADA. And last but not least, Shavkat Rachmonov reacts after Kelvin Gastelum announces their fight is postponed due to injury. Bobby Green should be on a post-fight high after choking out Tony Ferguson at UFC 291. Instead, he's been reading the comments section. It's on those online boards where fans sympathetic to Ferguson have suggested Green's win was more a sign of the ex-interim champ's downfall than Green's talent. On top of that, Ferguson has blamed his performance on an eye poke from Green that he alleged was intentional. Green said Ferguson isn't the most trustworthy of messengers on this issue, but it still bothers him that the postscript about this past Saturday's fight is not about his performance. This is what he said. If you argue with a crazy man, you're probably crazy, so I'm not going to argue with him. On one side of it is he thinks I'm intentionally trying to do this for this fight, so I'm not going to argue with him on that aspect. He's crazy with that, but you can't argue with crazy. I don't need to cheat, no guys. My skills pay the bills. Trust me, I rely on skills. I don't rely on athletics, or I don't rely on this and that. The skills in this, a lot of things that you guys don't understand is happening. And so I feel bad because I did do the eye poke. I felt bad that it happened. Dustin Poirier isn't happy about Conor McGregor and any sort of preferential treatment from USADA. On the MMA hour, Dustin discussed Conor's situation. The two have famously fought on three occasions, with Dustin currently leading the series two to one. Nonetheless, Dustin Poirier addressed Conor McGregor's recent fight talk and callouts. There he made it clear that above all else, he first has to pass a drug test before getting into the octagon. This is what he said. Dude, he needs to pass a drug test. That's what he needs to do. Yeah, he needs to pass a drug test. And if we change the rules for him to compete to sell some pay-per-views, we make a mockery of all this they put into place. But, you know, they're the judge and the jury, so they do what they want to do. So we'll see, man. Kelvin Gastelum is out of his scheduled fight against Shavkat Rachmonov. Gastelum was set to face Rachmonov in the co-main event of the upcoming fight night card set to take place in Las Vegas on September 16th. Gastelum posted on social media notifying fans that an injury forced him out of the fight, saying he hopes the matchup will be rebooked for later this year. The unfortunate news, my fight with Shavkat Rachmanov is off. I received an elbow that resulted in an open fracture and uh, a few bones that came out fractured. And I, I, I have to apologize to, to everybody that's been, you know, everybody was excited for this fight. I apologize to everybody. Uh, my apologize to, to Shavkat Rachmanov and, and his team. I, I feel bad. I feel very horrible about this unfortunate incident. You know, I'll be back. Uh, I'm still gonna continue training. I can still do my strength and conditioning training, movement. I can still do a lot of my my training with uh, my trainer, Noah Feinberg. I asked to move it up to November. Hopefully they grant me this wish. That'll be November 11th in Madison Square Garden. It's hard to be a Kelvin Gaston fan sometimes. I know we go through ups and downs together, but uh, I promise we're, we're fighting to get back on the horse and get back on that winning streak and continue it. Shavkat Rachmonov took to Twitter with a response to Kelvin saying, Panada, I agreed to fight you on your territory on Mexican Independence Day in arena full of your supporters, and it's not my problem you can't do it now. It's your turn to accept to fight me on my territory in Abu Dhabi at UFC 294, or did you realize it was bad idea just now? Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. We greatly appreciate your support and interest. If you enjoyed the content and want to stay updated, please don't forget to subscribe. Your involvement helps us continue producing and sharing more valuable content with you. Once again, thank you, and we look forward to having you as part of our community.